Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 9 of season 2. Really? Damn, bruh. Season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Gotta rev the fucking engine. <laughs> Oh, no, baby, no. Oh, oh, no. Right, like, <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong about that. Baby, you need to. Oh. If we don't get this by the end of this episode, I'm going to be so pissed. Like, uh, okay. So, as you can tell with all the other freaking posts and updates that I have been doing, of course, with between last week, last Wednesday, all the way to today, a lot of ish has happened. So, of course, one, the lovely hurricane that came on Wednesday that barely really hit my city but we did get affected by it we did lose power and stuff so i could not record on that day then of course i had to work from eight to four both thursday and friday um and then unfortunately as of now i got sick i'm currently still sick like to you guys i probably sound fine but i'm still like very much congested like all the way off of my nose and when I'm talking in the mic or just when I'm talking aloud, I don't like the way I speak. I'm like, that does not fucking sound like me, even though my mom's like, no, you're fine. And I'm like, no, that does not sound like me. Like, oh, I, I sound weird. And just uh, like yesterday was Saturday was my hell waking up. Throbbing headache, sore ass throat. Nose congested as I don't know what, coughing like I don't know what for a summer cold, bruh. I wanted to scream and cry. <laughs> so, yeah, if you hear me blow my nose, I'm sorry. She's sleeping.
people. Are you? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I remember her. Oh, my God. Two with four babies. Figure it out. Figure it out. I mean, how long is a while? Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. He doesn't. Oh, shit. He's not going to give that up that easily. I mean, time out real quick. What if y'all can't? I mean, both y'all bodies? They buried. They probably, like, gone. G-O-N-E. Gone.
Exactly. Oh, she can leave. No! What, like, the man god, like, what, screwed him over and such? I mean, because that could be a personal vendetta, but anything really could be. I mean, but hold up. You, you just started talking to him about it. You might as well just tell him where they are. Me. Of course, because of spoilers. Always because of spoilers, right? Right. Oh, uh, I mean, ma'am, that was pure shade.
Yeah, but not as much for him to tell you his whole life story. He's not that close yet. You want to team up? He doesn't really have anyone back home. No. I wouldn't really say die peacefully, but okay. Sir! To get her home. And to get her home. Well, of course, what else did you think it was going to be? I mean, yeah, at least do something. Yeah, but she's also the reason why your mom is missing. It's okay, baby. You saw red. I do the same thing to you. You, you when somebody talks shit, you gotta hit them. You gotta lash out. It's okay. Okay.
Right. I mean, because, like, what if you don't want to work with her after learning everything that you don't know? Shit. It's something about her. It's just, I don't trust. That's it. ready. I was already already. Tell him. Tell him. You gotta tell. God damn it. Oh god. I feel like she's going to tell him when it's too fucking late inside. Like I oh once again, we're going into, like, just do it. Just tell him. Tell him. Tell him who you really are. Stop hiding behind the glasses and everything. And I get it. Scared. Completely. That that's your, your, your mask and you're using it and you're scared. It, but damn it. If you don't tell Rudy now, when are you going to tell him? Nine episodes. It's still no n nothing, nothing. Damn it. Okay, I wasn't expecting to find out that we initially were getting characters who also kind of died that day, or well, did die that day, and is from Rudy's world. Because I'm thinking, because okay, let let's do this. Like let's compare it like this. I didn't think it was gonna be like some shield hero or just any other typical isekai, where yes, it's just the main character and maybe some other people who also have been isekai from our world into the new world and such. Was not expecting that, but yeah, new girl she. She's skeptical. That's all I'll say. I don't trust her right now. She seems very interesting, but of course she has her own motives. And she's going to use Rudy as best as she can to get what she wants. Because the biggest thing is she wants to go home. She doesn't want to be in this world. Unlike Rudy, Rudy has found his paradise. Rudy has gotten a second chance at life. And he's able to take everything that he's learned from his previous life and to make it into new with his current life. And so I get that. I get the fact that Rudy is just like, I don't want to go back home because I have no home to go to. That home or back there in the real world was my hell for so many years. So why would I want to torture myself and to go back to that personal hell of mine of being isolated and bullied and mistreated and everything else so badly when he is in an, a brand new world with people who really love him and care for him he has friends and family and he's able to do whatever he wants he ha he he doesn't really have to answer to anybody yes he still has to answer to his parents really more of his dad but it's been a while since we've seen his dad and such but now that we know that she's possibly the reason of what the fuck happened that day, bitch, of course, I'm looking at her completely fucking side eye. Like, I, I really don't trust you right now. Like, bitch, you could be secretly plotting something else. You could be the other big, she could be the big bad and we don't even know it. But I'm not going to, like, I'm going to say that, but I'm not really going to say that because, you know, I could be wrong. I have been wrong 
numerous of fucking times in any of the things that I have watched. Yes, I have also been right, too. But I don't think so. Like, I feel like she's just... She, she's here mainly for the other dude who she's with. Because, of course, he has tension with the man god and personal issues. So, hopefully... <coughs> Excuse me. Freaking mucus and coughing. Um... Hopefully there's an episode that goes into the backstory of his relationship with Man God. I mean, because there is a lot of unanswered questions on that. So here is freaking hoping. But okay, let's hope next week. Next week's the week. It's gonna happen next week. She's going to tell him who she really is. It's gonna be no more hiding, I hope. I fucking hope. I need it. I need this in my life. I need them to finally, you know... Not have to worry and hide anything anymore, damn it, because this is ridiculous as much as I love it. But ugh, I, I, just, I mm, ah, damn it. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode nine of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to enjoy the Bachelor Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday after I come home from work for episode 10. Bye, guys.